Hi guys, Luna here. Welcome back to another Remnant 2 Weapons Guide video. In this one, we're doing a bit of a mopping up mission to get the secret weapons. All of the ones I've done previously have been kind of related to each other and needed a lot of explanation, but these are just a bunch of random weapons across different maps I've collected, but didn't really want to make them their own short videos. So I've chucked them all together in this one. Plus I have around still 15 or 16 weapons to collect and there's still a lot of content to make. And this just reduces the amount of time I will spend making videos and more time finding the guns. And we're going to start with the Dreamcatcher and Crescent Moon as they take the longest to explain. To get the Dreamcatcher you need to play through La Somme, the one with the Asylum. In the Asylum you collect three stone dolls, there is a prison cell key on the balcony of the third floor. You can use that to open the prison in the basement where you will find the Nightweaver doll. Once you've interacted with the web in the basement and get to the Tormented Asylum, there will be another web for you to interact with on the left hand side where you will give it the Nightweaver doll in order to get the Dreamcatcher. I can't show you exactly me doing it because my recording broke just as I was doing it and it never saved, but you can see exactly what to do. Now we have the Dreamcatcher, fast travel to Minyu's retreat and use the Dreamcatcher on her while she is asleep. If she's awake, fast travel to somewhere else in La Somme and go back to her to get her to sleep. Make sure you don't travel to Ward 13 and back or else it won't work. It has to be somewhere else in the same world. Using the Dreamcatcher on her gives you Minyu's dream. Equip it and use it to enter the retreat's horizon and walk forward to find Anami's echo. Take this to Macab to craft the Crescent Moon Bow. The ornate flail is found in the gilded chambers in the Somme as well, near the end of the level. There is a statue with wall paintings on the wall. Break the painting that's on the ground to find a hidden passage. Defeat a boss inside and follow the path to find the ornate flail. The Kral Axe is located in Endira's End in Yaesha. At the very end, next to the crystal, is a secret room with the axe inside of it. You will have to go through all of these different chambers in order to reach it. It's not in the same place for everyone, so just check them all. The Blade of Gull is found in the Blood Moon Altar in Yaesha. It's different locations for people. For me, the Blood Moon Altar is found in the Far Woods. You need to fast travel back and forth to the area with the Blood Moon Altar to get a Blood Moon to spawn, which is just a random event, and then you can collect Blood Moon Essence in order to get the Blade. You will need 10 of them. The vice grips are located in Nerud. Find the custodian and drop down next to him to buy the vice grips. Lastly, we have the Chicago typewriter and Leto Mark II armor. You will need to finish the labyrinth and get the biome portal key, which is something you do quite early in the story. Now head to the very start of the labyrinth and simply follow where I go in order to get the weapon. 
So guys, that is it. Seven more secret weapons in Remnant 2. Just a bunch of random ones I had, but didn't want to make videos on them separately. So just put them all together in this one video. I'm trying to get all of them. And if you want to see more guides, like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Here they come. Glad that's over. <laughs>